So let's do the second part of this problem. We know that we have to find the voltage of the electric potential at point zero, so at the center of this curve. As you can see, we have four different points where the charge will be different because out here the charge on the other side the charge is equals to zero. And then right here as you can see circle by the blue is gonna be positive and then on the inside the be circle will be negative. So we have to stop several times along the way. That means that I start with the first one. As you can see, I already wrote the formula of the voltage, but we have to break it in different parts. So it's called V1 is equals to negative the integral of E, which will be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q to the charge. You know that the system is then positively charged from the end. R squared dr r from infinity to b. So we take out the constant and we have 1 over, actually we take out the q2, so q over 4 pi epsilon naught integral of 1 over this vector squared dr from infinity to b. So we have the integral of this which means, let's rewrite the constant, 4 pi epsilon naught then will be minus 1 over r from b to b to b so we can take out the negative and it's going to be positive then q over 4 pi epsilon naught then when we plug in the infinity we get zero so the only answer that we have is 1 over b and that's the first one the second one will be negative electric field of terms of dr. And now let's look at the figure we have again. Now inside the, the a and b, let me call it so it's easy to see, it. we actually do not have any charge. So our electric field is actually equals to zero. Right here. So electric field is equals to zero. At point three again instead, we have the same formula and we actually do have some charges, some charge, some electric field, because the charges are on the outer rings. That means that the charge, of course, will be Q again. So let's rewrite it pretty much like we wrote it here, but let's change the boundaries, because now it won't be A, uh, sorry, negative infinity and B, but it will be one from A, capital R, so we have negative Q over 4 pi epsilon naught. And then, of course, the integral will be that we yield this 1 over R minus 1 over A, that we can rewrite as Q over 4 pi epsilon naught. 1 over A minus 1 over R. And then V4 will be the same formula. And, as you already probably guessed, inside of a charged sphere, and we know that all the charges will be on the other side, will be equal to zero. So we'll have zero. So the total charge will be equal to V1, that's potential, plus V2, plus V3, plus V4, which is equal to, uh, well, V1, we said it was this answer right here. Copy and paste it. Plus V2 is equal to 0. Plus V3, we said, is equal to this answer right here. Plus V4 is equal to 0 again. So our final answer, let's collect Q4 pi epsilon naught. Then we have times 1 over B plus 1 over A minus 1 over R. And that is our final answer. There we go. And that is our final answer.